Hello and welcome everyone to the how to videos on uh, HP Quick Test Professional. Today I want to show you uh, how I created a keyword driven automation framework to test a web based application. Uh, the application is a social networking site that helps you create your own social network. So we are testing some basic functionality and we have already built the automation framework. So today I just wanted to show you how we created this. Uh, if you have any questions or you need more information, you can call me at 3148275272 or email me at qtp.elearn at gmail.com. Uh, so as a starting point, what I did, I created this simple Excel file, uh, writing down what is it that we wish to achieve. So I started with something called as a high-level plan and I have written the steps that will be evolved um, as we go along and what we are going to uh, do with each of them. So uh, my first uh, step, and I named it as step zero, is I'm going to create my test cases and test steps. Next, uh, we've prepared the data for test execution, primarily my login, uh, password, uh, web address, and so on. Uh, after which, we've created the object repository. Then we started doing the uh, scripting um, on VBScript using the expert view to execute uh, these test cases. Uh, we parameterized the test. Um, and uh, we have created functions to handle each of the keywords and when I go into the next sheets it will become more clear to you all on what all we have done. Uh, finally we did a dry run and uh, modified uh, the script to see if there are any errors that are coming out of the uh, script that we generated um, and as a final step we executed and uh, viewed the test results. Within the test cases, you would notice that uh, I have named each of this test case uh, and called that column as TCID. And each of these test cases represent one execution, start to finish. And I can here say what the test case will do in a high level, uh, what is the result for it, and should this be executed or not. So a non-automation uh, person from uh, your organization, it could be someone in the business, someone from the development or manual testers, all they have to do is uh, say yes or no to what test cases to be executed and QTP will automatically read information from this sheet and execute those test cases. Now for example, for each of these test cases that we have here, uh, we have expanded them into specific test steps. And here is how the test steps look. Uh, so I just created it for three different test cases uh, for this example. So a simple test case could be something like browse to the website, uh, log in, log out and close the browser. So for each of these test steps, we've said that it represents a specific keyword. So browse home is a keyword, log in is a keyword, log out, close browser. Now when I show you the script very briefly, you will see that for each of these keywords, we have uh, generated a function which will be called depending on if the test case is yes or no to execute. After it is executed, uh, the results would get populated here whether it, that test case has passed or failed. Similarly, we have expanded uh, the test steps for other uh, test cases that we wrote. Now, for example, the browse home in this test case and the browse home or login here are the same functions. So these are now reusable components. So we built a library of keywords and uh, each of them serve a specific purpose. This is a very starting initial uh, level of keyword driven framework and this is a good starting point for us then to expand it further. So now that you've seen the test cases where we have uh, the users of this automation framework uh, choose what to execute and what not and the test steps saying what are the steps within it and what keywords. I will show you the uh, script that we generated for it. So my script has three actions. First action I'm using to import the data from these Excel files. There are two Excel files we're using. One automation framework that we just saw. The second is the data uh, file where I have the username and password. And uh, we are loading that Excel file into different sheets within the data table. So I'm adding them into the data table and then importing the content from the Excel into that. Second uh, action is the main action where uh, the main code is getting executed. 
So what we do here is depending on uh, the flag on the test cases being yes or no, we execute the corresponding test steps. So as long as those test case IDs for the test steps and test cases match, those test steps get executed. We've then used this select statement to identify what are the keywords. So for example, if we go here, we will see that this test case ID is the same that is referenced here, right? This is a common uh, test case ID that we're using. And these keywords are the ones we are trying to capture back in our script. So coming back to the script, you will see if each test step, for example, if it's browse home, then execute the browse home function. If it is login, then execute login function. And so on, we've built all the keywords. It's a simple starting uh, point for our uh, application through automation on uh, through keyword-driven framework. Now, uh, every function will return whether that function has passed or failed, and that result will be stored in a variable, which will later then be updated in my data tables. After the main action is executed, the final action that I'm using is export data, where I simply export the results into a new file called results. Now let's look uh, quickly at the function library, one function library that we created. So as I mentioned, for each of the keywords that we have in our main action, which are also the same name in the Excel file, we have created each function to execute that specific functionality. For example, the first one is just opening the Internet Explorer and going to the URL that is being passed. Uh, so we have not uh, done specifically error handling on some of them, but once we go further into other uh, code, you will see that each of the function, we are trying to handle errors that come up in the application. So if an error occurs, then we say, yes, it has failed. Um, so this is how the function library has been slowly built. Now let's try and do a quick run. So before we run, uh, we go to the automation framework sheet and this sheet drives, this is called as the driver for our uh, testing application. All right. So I'm going to say, let's say execute yes. And let's say execute yes for the first and the last one. And after I've done this, I'm going to save this file and close. Now going back to QTP um, on my test, I am going to click on run and let it execute the test. So after the test has completed execution, you would see that the results will automatically get populated into our results folder. So currently QTP is automatically executing all the test cases that we said yes. So it has finished one test case, it has closed the browser, now it has opened the browser again and it is going into the next level of test case. So now uh, our uh, QTP has completed and the result in the status is ready. So I could go and look at uh, the results either in my test results or uh, for someone who wants a more convenient summary of uh, what happened in this test, they could as well go to see what has happened in the uh, Excel file that we generated. So there is a result file that got created after the end of that execution. So primarily we have executed the first test case and the second test case and we see that those two have got pass on each result. You could also go to the test steps and see how each of those steps got uh, executed. So browse home, login, logout, so everything has worked correctly. So here is a quick uh, snapshot of automation framework. Uh, it took uh, almost about three, four hours for us to develop the entire logic and the code behind it. But once we have this framework ready, then to add new functionality to this uh, flow would, would be uh, done very easily. And hence, uh, automation framework has been extremely popular, specifically the keyword driven framework. You can feel free to call me on 314-827-5272 or email me at qtp.elearn at gmail.com. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.